we're just hanging out some of our browse nets for these guys. Because they're so good at eating and they're always eating, uh, what we like to do is put browse nets up and make it that little bit more difficult for them to get their food. Hanging it up high gets them as though they're eating that upper canopy, as they would be out there in the wild. Yeah, that's good, Dad. That's good, that's good. The muscles it takes to use a trunk and to hold her head up like that. The head alone weighs just over a thousand kilos, so if you think about that, having to hold that up and, and to reach up that sort of height, it's all really good um, ways to um, get these muscles working how they should be. That's a big deal. Good girl. Big girl. Go, go, get it. I'm Andrew Coas, very privileged to be one of uh, six people that get to look after these amazing uh, animals. So here at Auckland Zoo, play is really important in terms of establishing relationships between keepers and elephants, but also the elephants themselves. And what's quite interesting with the two elephants is that they feed off each other. And so when Angela gets super excited, because she's a younger elephant, play comes that much more easier for her, but she does bring the play out in Burma. Play is a perfect way where we can engage and get excited with them, whether it's just us hanging out with them and running around like lunatics, or, or whether it's actually giving them enrichment toys to engage with as well. It's really important for us to get these guys really moving around their habitat having a good time, utilising all the furniture, the pool, the logs, all the things that you see. Everything with play for these guys has to be tough, has to be strong. You can see how physical they are, and we see so much, whether it's the strength and the physicality of their play, or simply the vocalisation, excitement. They learn through play. Once an elephant gets wet, the next thing they want to do is to get dirty again. That's really important because these guys do get sunburned and we're chucking that sand on the back, it protects them from the sun and that harmful UV rays. That's a big girl. So the benefit of training these guys is there's numerous different behaviours that help us um, look after them. These guys are really good, like most animals, at shielding their health problems. They don't want to get detected by predators. So things like getting their trunk up, opening up their mouth, checking their teeth out. Good girl, pretty teeth. Yeah. So what's important for us is, at the end of the day, these guys are advocates for those elephants that are doing it tough out there in the wild. And so we take advantage of that by talking to our visitors about some of the issues facing wild elephants. And by our amazing visitors coming to see us here at the zoo, it allows us to support some pretty amazing people out there. Our conservation partners like the Centre for Conservation Research, but also the Biodiversity Elephant Conservation Trust, they do some amazing work. Um, and it's our visitors coming to visit us uh, on a daily basis that allows us to do that work. And we're so grateful for that. <laughs>